What's up, everybody? It's your favorite printer's favorite nerd, and today we are looking at the Sick of You Customs Top Spin. This was sent to me via that gentleman himself, and I believe his name is pronounced Biat. There's an R in there, and you know I'm not good at pronouncing names anyway, so I'm gonna let it ride. Real quick, as a disclaimer, he did say he was having troubles with his printer as he sent this, so keep that in mind. He sent me a Rotostorm in the past that I have on display, and he sent me this Top Spin today. So we're gonna take a look at it. We'll go through the figure. We'll go through the transformation. We'll go through the accessories right now he comes with two swords and it's funny the dude sent me a video on kind of how to transform it and he says sword also I don't know if he's saying he got it for me or I don't know why but it uh, has made me laugh anyway uh, it also comes with like a little sword holder this they're nice enough they're a little plain you know and they're only it's only really the curve here that makes it kind of indicative of a um of an actual kind of melee weapon but um it's it's one of those things where i think it's suggestive enough he will hold it just fine by just sliding in his hands and the fingers will grip around it once you have the sort of holder in place there's a peg that will actually tap into the side of the hip so that he can stow it on his hip but if you'd prefer it on his back you can also peg it in to his back which is pretty awesome now the two sword holders have these bits here that are on sliding rods. So if you take them and have one up and one down, you can connect them together. Now, I'm guessing that this has fallen out somewhere and I just can't put my finger on it, I haven't seen it. But inside of these squares are ball sockets and then ball pegs fit in and you have to kind of angle them out at an angle and you wanna make sure that they're lined up and this will come into play later. Now, that will store on the back of the vehicle mode um, you have to make sure everything is kind of lined up right and you have to move the arms up out of the way and then collapse them back down. And obviously these two long bits stick off, but I'm going to, when I get to vehicle mode, I'm going to install it and just remove the two swords so like the cavity is full, but it doesn't have the stuff hanging off the back. For the gun, you want to split it into four pieces. When you split it at first in half you'll notice that these two are identical and these two are identical and what you want to do now is mix match them and they have tabs and slots that will correspond and you just molly them up so to speak and you're good to go the only other thing that you have to do is take the handle slide that on a sliding bar and then fold that in to you know kind of tuck away the handle that he holds so slide in and in and he'll hold that just fine and then once you have them kind of assorted properly you can take them and slide them into the bottom side of the um alt mode and i don't have it quite lined up right but it'll slide up in there i'll show you it in the in the final kind of configuration but it's uh not quite in there right he also dis designed this uh display stand and this piece uh, has a screw here so that can rotate forward and backward and then this and then there's tightness here and a ball peg there it's really i mean i love this because you can have like the alt mode and the robot mode on display at the same time it's really really quite clever um and beautiful so i i love this before I, I love this now i'll show you where it connects real quick and that will connect on his backside, you know with these two bits underneath his thighs really smart design. I, I praised this the last time, it's the same this time, and I, I still think it can do more than I'm showing, but you get the drift. Those two prongs will also fit in alt mode betwixt his legs right in there if you slide in. I'm not going to do it right this second, but that's how that works. So let's go through it. Now, this one doesn't have as much color breakup as the Rotor Storm, so, um, you know, I did notice that straight away. However, it does do a lot more, and we will talk about that as we go through. First of all, I love the expression on his face. He's got like a little smirk. And once again, be forgiving of the print because he said he was having problems with his printer, I believe. All right, so the head is on a ball peg. You can get, oh, I don't want to break it. I saw it snapping a little bit. Up to there, down to there and then a swivel, confused top spin look, so no issues there. The shoulders are actually pretty intricate, but you do have a hinge. This shoulder pad will actually move a bit out of the way to allow you to get almost 90 degrees. I think it's, I mean, it's close enough. If not, you know what I mean, if it's like 89. And then a swivel, so it acts like a universal. It's on this double hinge in here, 
So you actually get a butterfly joint forward and back, which is pretty insane. Um, you know, there's legit companies that can't figure that out. So same on the other side. You have a bicep swivel, no issues there, and you have a double jointed elbow. So quite nice. On top of that, you have a wrist hinge up and down. I wish it had a swivel. I'll be honest. I wish it had a swivel, but it does not. And you have fingers that are on a base pin knuckle. Pretty intricate. On the other side, same thing. You have a waist swivel and an ab crunch. Crazy. Crazy. The hips tensioned out to the side on universals. Now watch this. Ratcheted forward and back insane all right nice sculpted detail here in the chest i dig that i like the stuff on the shoulders as well i like the stuff on the legs as well thigh swivel single hinge knee that gets you a little bit past 90 degrees ankles are on a ball peg that's connected i think to a hinge either way you get an ankle tilt up down and a rocker so rocker's a little limited but it's there Back looks pretty good, too. I love the sculpted details there. Good stuff. Pretty solid effort. Size comparison-wise, there he is next to an MP car. So pretty sizable fella. You know what I mean? Like, bigger than an MP car, you know? So with some fine-tuning and some polish, he's on to something here, if he wants to be, which is pretty impressive to see. So let's get him transformed. Open up these flaps here and tuck the fists in. You want to leave the flaps up. On the back here are little tabs. Just untab them from the side here. And I might need a, a tool. He did advise me. All right, there's one. There's the other. The next is to get these two wing sections untabbed. Now, there's another massive tab in here. Once again, I'm just going to free it up a little bit and free it. See, big old peg, so so to speak. So you got to uh, work her a little bit. Then you have this free. In order to slide that, you're going to need to open up the arms to get the butterfly joint. And then this will slide up and down. Then on the front side untab the chest and then using your sliding piece here the head should tuck down inside of the body and I'm trying to do it there it is so you slide that piece down and then you'll see that the head is gone inside of the body all right now we have to do a little bit of parts forming before we do unpeg these and then you'll see that this all rotates up. This will allow you to get space to this bit. You do have to take these off. This was a last minute addition that he added. You don't need it for the figure. It just gives it a more IDW look. So it's kind of up to you. Unpeg it on the back here. If you're like, if you're, if you're such, such a purist, you're so pure, dude. You are so pure that you just can't have any parts forming. You can just leave it off. If you're like me and it, as long as it looks good, you don't care, then you can deal with it as need be. Okay. So then we have to kind of extend these and get the arms. Oh, okay. Move the chest and get the arm out of the way and then swing this down and then you can move the arm back. So once again, arm out of the way, swing these down, arm all the way back. Now on the bottom of the chest, take the two side pieces and swing them around until they sit flush up against the back. And then on this side, you wanna spin the entire chest piece around, take these, come down, uh, and this is a, a little bit of um, technique here. So move the head down as far as to get all that space you can get. And then you kind of want to tuck this in between the two and hopefully get it lined up. Now, if you're having issues like I'm having, you can bring this piece down and then once you Tuck this in. Yep, 
you can use this little gap here to kind of lock this piece in place. There, real quick. So this tab lined up here. This piece is now clipped onto there and the same tab is lined up on the opposite side. Now let's try to get the legs out of the way. So bring them down and then spin at the thigh swivel 180 degrees. And then you can bring the arms up and over and this is to kind of just try to keep everything from flopping around on you while we deal with the front. So we have to get all of these hinges lined up. You see one, two, three, four. Now, in order to do so, you need to spin it. And the third one sits up like this. And the fourth one sits inside. And it kind of folds into position naturally. So you'll have two down here at an angle, one sticking up on top, and then one tucked away inside. Let's do that again. So we're gonna spin it. We're trying to get these two at an angle, that one at the top and that one inside. Nothing to it but to do it, good to go. All right, now utilizing the ab crunch, you gotta get this piece out. So it just slides a bit. And then you wanna take this, you can straighten that out now, straighten the ab crunch out. You wanna take this piece the giant pegs that we talked about earlier on, they swing 180 to the top on both sides. And then this piece comes down and around. And as this lays on here, this piece will come around and grab underneath for that tab that we brought out. Then, and that's not sitting 100%, I might have to fix it off camera, but then we're gonna bring these two side pieces down and they'll clip around it. And then these pieces will come in and snatch up that middle bit. And I might have to do this off camera because it's a little tricky to get to. There's one. And there's the other. So pretty smart stuff, you know what I mean? Now we're ready to form the kind of front. So that is going to hit there. And it's just a matter of making sure that you have everything lined up properly. So, what is going on? And that will go right in there. There. So there's one. I got a hinge here that I forgot to unfold. You have this groove or channel that's gonna capture that tab and then this hole that captures that peg. Boom. Like a glove. Then, straighten the arms, make sure they're nice and straight, and collapse them down into that cavity there. And they'll sit kind of at an angle uh, on top of the vehicle. Come on, girl. There you go. Then the legs. Heels in, and it pushes against the bottom. Heel in, push against the bottom. Then we need to unlock some pieces. There's a thigh lock, not to be confused with side lock, up here, if you see. This is the thigh changing, do you see? And we'll do that on both sides. Mm. I'll get that one later, but you see it. And then open up these panels here and you'll notice another lock inside. We're going to unlock that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and get that, that one fixed, that one I couldn't, this one's already been unlocked, but I'm gonna go ahead and get that, that one fixed at the thigh. The last lock is just like he did with the rotor storm where you gotta like, you gotta bring this out to the side and then rotate this a certain way. And as soon as you do it, that one will unlock. 
So we'll go ahead and do that on both sides. So swing that out to the side and then rotate this a certain way and then that one will unlock. All right, then we got to get this knee. So if you see here on the underside, there is these two sections here. And if you unlock them, they will swing around. Flip this piece down. And then, let's see. Let's see if we can't spin that and get that out of the way so we can get access. Mm. Sorry. This is a little tricky. Swing that. All right. So now we have these together and they'll f fold up and then Hmm. There we go. And then interlock here. And then they'll fit inside of this knee. This knee cap will come around and slide back down <laughs> over top of it. So it's pretty complicated, um, but it's pretty impressive. So we'll bring out this piece here. We're going to bring out this knee cap. That will allow us to get access to these two sections that make up the leg, but will form this kneecap. But we got to clear it. So let's see. Mm. I feel like made a critical error at some point, but let's see if we can't figure it out. We gotta get these two together. All right, and then once we've done so, if we can flip out the knee, and as you get it more in position, you'll get more of a clearance, and then fold out the kneecap so that we can bring these two and interlock them together. Then we can sit them against the knee. The knee will actually come up and over so that this will slide down and then it will sit back against it. Pretty impressive, but you know, pretty involved. Okay, so then we have a flap at the top and at the bottom. And this one's a little Omri, but just open this up here. And then there's one down here at the bottom. This one isn't as important to kind of get to straight away, but just so you know it's there. And then this, where the knee piece was that we just collapsed, you can collapse that whole thing. This grate here needs to sit at the bottom. This knee needs to come up and over. And this plugs in to the body and I am going to try my best to get it but that's kind of what you're looking for I just need to plug everything in and I'm not sure that I'm going to be able to that piece comes forward and that piece sits to the side. I will mess with it off camera and try to get it all locked in, but that's basically, I mean, the general shape of it right there, it's just not locked in properly and I gotta put some force in it and I wanna be able to do it carefully. So let's go ahead and do the other side too and then I'll mess with it. So once again, we got flaps on both sides. And I might need to get my tool because it's a little tight there. 
and collapse the knee. And you want, or I guess we'll extend it for now. This guy, this piece has got to be on the bottom here. Then you can collapse the knee. All right. Up, down. These two pieces come together like the beetles. And everything will lock in, including these two pieces underneath. And then this piece is like a filler on top. And I mean, that's basically it. I will clean it up and we will take a look at it. But that's the general shape there. And there it is kind of all set, locked in, and good to go. And very impressive. As you can see, those two parts forming pieces will clip back on in alt mode. Very impressive. You know, and I had to fiddle with this a lot in order to get mine close. And he sent me, this is the alt mode version. So, like, these pieces here extend out to the side. If you want that look. Just a cool option. You know? Very, very cool. Ugh. I mean, like, I'm just impressed with the amount of engineering. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's kind of crazy. Would you agree? I mean, obviously, this not painted. Obviously, paint would do a lot for it and, you know, all that kind of stuff. But this is just this dude designed this in his basement. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm just, you know, assuming. Um, maybe this is a bedroom. And printed it, and now it's a thing. And a pretty impressive thing at that. I don't have any real issues with this. Um, yeah, I think it works tremendously well. Very impressive. There's also landing gear. This piece comes around from the back, and this piece, and this piece come up, and then they're on a sliding bar, and that will spin out and rotate. Same on this side. Sliding bar, spin out and rotate, and then... You have it kind of sitting on the landing gear, which once again, very cool. And there it is next to Tiger Tracks. So it's a big mamma jamma. Final thoughts wise, we'll start with the negatives. There, there are really few, but they're really, they come down to this dude's ambition. Like he just wants to hit the ground and run at a million miles an hour. And I'm not sure it's quite there yet, but it's a lot smoother this go round than it was before. So maybe there's nothing wrong with that approach. Maybe it's actually helping him grow at a faster pace. Maybe it's putting him further ahead of the curve. It's hard to say really, but he's swinging for the fences and I respect it, but I'm not quite sure if it's there yet. My only issue really with this thing, given what it is, is I wish that the guns look more like guns and the the swords look more like swords and that's really it i wish there was some more smoothness and lock-in stuff with the alt mode you know what i mean like the panels that cover between the arms and the legs and stuff like that but judging it based on what this is which is just some guy's kind of pet project it would really be silly for me to sort of throw that out there against it I love getting stuff like this, and this one is advanced. It's very advanced. And as a result, it's frustrating at times, but it's also inspiring. It's super engineered. It has a lot of sculpt work. It has a lot of articulation to include butterflies and ab crunches. Like, what is there to hate? Look, there's links to this guy's stuff in the description. He's got stuff on Thingiverse and all that. This dude's an artist, and it shows. And I don't know what kind of background he has, if he's some kind of engineer or something, but there's fancy, sophisticated stuff going Going on with this thing and I tip my hat to him I tip my hat to all creators creating and I tip my hat to fan ownership always that's how I get down so check out his stuff check out his links check out his work check out the dude like he's got some stuff and he's somebody that not only you should watch but probably companies out there should keep an eye on real quick before we get out of here I want to send a special shout out it's a happy birthday shout out to a young lad out there who watches the channel happy birthday Koki I know I'm a little belated but have a good one you're six years old now. Time to start manning up. But I want to wish the young lad a happy birthday. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Till next time, take care.